One week ago today, we checked in with our Mike Yanni. We found him in hot and humid Orlando, Florida, home of Walt Disney World. You were there to check out a brand new ride, a high tech ride in the Magic Kingdom called the yes. Seven Dwarfs Mine Train. Yes, I spent four days touring through the parks, and Disney was showing some of the technology. And this ride is really high tech. It just opened up, one of the first to ride it. And I got to say, you know, Disney likes to call their rides 3D storytelling because every ride tells a story, and the Seven Dwarfs Mine Train, it's no different. For the past three years, Disney's been busy expanding Fantasyland. It's the largest expansion in the Magic Kingdom history. It all comes to an end with the opening of this, the latest attraction, the Seven Dwarves Mine Train. And we're going to be one of the first in the world to not only ride it, but see the technology behind it. Disney's Imagineers breathing life into a classic tale, a brand new steel roller coaster closely resembling a classic scene in Snow White and the Seven Dwarfs. Seven Dwarfs Mine Train is a family coaster that takes you through the gem mines of the Seven Dwarfs. And we do that by using iconic elements from the classic animated movie. The main element is this mine cart. In the movie, it's used to carry gems, but in the Magic Kingdom, precious cargo. It's unlike any other coaster in the world. The carts are designed to sway back and forth on a swiveling pivot like a cradle as you make your way through the twists and turns. It's patented Disney technology. You won't find it anywhere else. It gives you the thrill of twisting back and forth, but it's so smooth. It's, it's unbelievable. With the track, the track is as thick as it is, and that cradle pivot just allows you to swing without even feeling that you're jerking back and Forth. I had the chance to ride on the Seven Dwarves Mine Train. I've got to say, it's one of the smoothest roller coasters I've ever been on. But the thrill and the motion is only part of the experience. The rest comes down to Disney Imagineering. <laughs> Once you venture inside the mines, you'll get up close and personal with the Seven Dwarfs themselves, the latest animatronics from Disney's Imagineers. We've actually gone a step further in making these dwarfs very lifelike. They interact with you. You're right beside you as they're mining for these giants and singing to the classical song. But the dwarfs are only part of the experience. The mine is lit up with the sparkle of thousands of gems. And if you pay close attention, you'll find other goodies, like these shadows of the dwarfs marching to work, lifted frame by frame from the original movie. <laughs> We're very thrilled. It's, it's beyond our ex expectations on how wonderful this attraction is. You can always tell how popular an attraction is going to be by the length of the lineup. Insider's tip, you can pre-book your ride on the My Disney Experience app. Seven Dwarves Mine Train officially opens to the public on May 28th. For Breakfast Television, I'm Mike Yanni. You have a really um, hard and terrible job. Hey, you know what? Riding on rides <laughs> is tough work. Really? I know. Where you had to take a day off when you got back just to recover. I know, to recover. That looks so cool. It was amazing. You know what? It's fascinating talking to the Dig Disney Imagineers. Yeah. They're, they're incredible people. And just being able to talk to them about what they just created. And they're, of course, so proud of it. And they should be. The ride's amazing. It did open up this week. The lineups are long. Yeah, I believe uh, it. But a story I'm going to show you next week is how Dis Disney's using technology to reduce weights and lineups. And oh. part of it comes down to this. This is the Magic Band, uh, and there's special high-tech technology inside there. So we're going to talk a little bit about that. Uh, bleh, I'm all tongue-tied. I'm all excited about the ride. <laughs> uh, talk about that next week a little bit, and My Magic Plus, a new app they launched. And speaking of apps, I want to quickly talk about, uh, we actually, to plan our trip down there, we used the Disney app, and we used the new WestJet app. Uh, and I'm going to say, this just launched for iPhone, uh, uh, iPhone just a couple weeks ago. Yeah. Really cool. It launched for Android a while ago, but they said they had to get it just right uh, mm -hmm. for the iPhone. So I just want to quickly show everyone, if you haven't used it yet, um, that here it is. Really easy to use. You can actually book trips right through the app itself. Uh, then you have all your trips lined up. This is past trips, so you can see my Orlando itinerary and things like that. Uh, and then flight statuses, so if you want to know if your flight's on time, you just type in the number, hit search, and it'll tell you whether it's late, whether it's on time, uh, and things like travel advisories. So lots of cool things all within the app. Uh, I was chatting with the folks uh, who created the app. They said within the first week or two, they had uh, over 100,000 people download it. Huge. So it was in high demand, so it, it works really well. And they're, I'm going to be tinkering around with it and adding more features from public feedback as well. But so far, WestJet did a great job on their app. Yeah, very nice interface. Yeah. I like it.